So what's up again, everybody? Uh, we are here, just kind of doing like a day two, made a little bit of progress today on the uh, MR2 Spider Commuta Tech uh, Barchetta car. Kind of crazy name, but haven't really thought of a good name for it. Um, today we kind of messed around a little bit with some stuff from a company called Probolt, and it was just kind of the very tip of the iceberg in terms of what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm actually replacing, hopefully, the, the target is all fasteners with some sort of exotic material, meaning aluminum or titanium. Not that those are that exotic, but um, kind of been picking away and uh, Probolt makes some pretty cool stuff. They made some some uh, self-tapping kind of deals. So, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't go tap any holes with them, but they work good for you know, plastic fasteners and stuff like that. So like you can see on the uh, bottom of this underboy arrow, stuff like that. Start picking away, we got, got some some M6 by 1.25s for our radiator support bolts. We got a little, I'm sorry, M8 by 1.25. And then we got some M6 by 1.0 for our radiator. And we got a, kind of went through the car, started. We got our titanium mirror mount bolts. Ooh, shiny. Trying to do stuff that's important for strength with titanium and stuff that's, that's more uh, aesthetic or less crucial, less critical in aluminum. See these fender mount bolts, and aluminum, and they're sweet. They're like scalloped and then drilled. Made a little block, carbon block off plate for where the uh, door open position sensor was. Stuff like that, just picking away. Um, dashboard mounts, or door limiting strap mount. Kind of just picking away, doing all the stuff. Again, forgive the hilariously bad roll cage, roll cage, roll bar, whatever this is. That junk is from previous owner and it is getting cut out. So please don't judge me. Uh, I would never, that's not me. But yeah, just kind of picking the waves here and there. Just kind of taking care of some things. Um, I went with the gold color, the yellow color, um, just because it kind of matched my wrap on my intercooler plumbing and was kind of semi-subtle, it wasn't some blue or red or crazy or whatever, but we got a long way to go, but we're just kind of picking away. And uh, at the place where we're at in terms of the weight reduction mission here, um, we're, we're starting to get to a place where the, uh, the weight reduction is hard fought. <clears throat> I had a question on uh, the Facebook thing whether my end plates for my wing were on wrong. Uh, and there's no other way to go put them on. That's just how they are. Which I kind of like the look of it. I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, you know, some, some stuff. But, um, you know, mirror or uh, antenna block off plate. You know, the carbon. Plus some mirror mounts. And it's just the uh, you know, same thing here. Do, do, do. In the door. In there. Door hinge on, dash on, door cards. Had some people ask me about the door cards. Um, there's something I fabricated up, and uh, same thing with the door release pull straps. Um, they're kind of like they're, they're, the door does require some modification to make them them fit. Uh, this is the the initial like the prototype version with the aluminum ones. I'm gonna make another set out of carbon, and I might do a production run of the aluminum ones for for sale to the general public. Um, these are necessary because the factory window uh, regulator bolts stick through. And um, with them protruding like that, I, I made a little billet plate to, just a simple plate, to, but it, it made, them, made that look a little less unsightly. I scalloped out this bottom part so you can see where Toyota decided to mark their door, Toyota. I just kind of thought that was a nice touch, but. Um, the big thing is not really the weight reduction of these, although they are, I think, lighter than the uh, factory door cards, which are pretty light anyway. Um, but it's the elbow room. These cars are pretty restrictive in, certain, in terms of their their elbow room. And uh, I'm on the taller side and I got long gangly arms. And uh, so when I drive these cars, I'm always cursing the door, the door panel armrest. Um, so, but yeah, car's coming along. We did some brakes. Uh, did, I was trying to decide whether to go crazy on brakes with these cars. Um, 
and I, did, I elected to just go with factory plane rotors with EBC yellow pads and Goodrich lines. Um, yes, obviously I'm missing a wheel lock, wheel lock uh, uh, lug nut. Funny story about that, somebody broke into my car and stole my wheel lock key. So that's super awesome. Thanks so much for that. Uh, this only took that and my cell phone charger. So I'm assuming they were gonna come back and get my wheels, um, but that just, it just means I gotta buy another set of work lug nuts. That's awesome. People are so cool. Um, so yeah, we're just picking away. You know, some of this stuff's gonna be aluminum, some of it's gonna be titanium. Um, you know, stuff like these. These are more M8 by 1.25s. Um, and these, because they're suspension, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do them in titanium. I don't know that it's actually critically necessary just because the only time that these are really under any stress is probably when they're, on, when they're in, in tension, so the suspension's drooped out. Um, but I just feel like it's probably the right thing to do. Um, so I'll do those. Um, just kind of kind of go ham on it. We are, uh, we deleted the heat this week, as you can see. Oh no, there's nothing in there, nothing. So I made up some little carbon block off plates for those and uh, give them a, a fix those on there, get that going on. But if you look around the, the chassis, there's some really interesting stuff that needs to be replaced for bolts and nuts. Um, and I just re need to reorder. I, the, the, the initial order was like, I don't know, it was more expensive than I like to admit. And uh, it got me about maybe a, a fifth of the way there or less, probably less because it's going to be expensive doing you know, suspension bolts out of tie and stuff. But there's all sorts of little stuff like these little, these little bolts that are on the, the that mount the, uh, the rack and pinion to itself. Um, these are, you know, just again, M8 by 1.25. Those will, those I'll probably do in tie. Um, some of the ones that are going to be really expensive are like these, you know, these steering rack bolts that are like juicy, you know, M12, whatever it is, uh, stuff that's pretty long. Uh, that'll be expensive, but you know, these will be, these will probably do in tie. And just go through and do all the stuff. This, these nuts that hold on your gas pedal. Yeah, look at that. Looks like shit. So it's, you know, sorry, my compressor's running. But um, it just is something where it's a chance to make the car lighter and it's a chance to like kind of improve the overall kind of perceived quality. When I walk up to the car, I get to see all this little jewelry now. And it just makes it feel special. Um, we, talk, we talked a little bit about the Swiss cheesing that's been done to this car. And um, I've heard a couple people have concerns about the, the lack of rigidity due to the Swiss cheesing. Um, I wanted to point out that uh, Toyota thought it was a good idea. They did it to this. Um, but you'll notice when Toyota did it, they, they actually dimple dyed these holes, made them three dimensional. So kind of got some of the rigidity back in the panel. And so the reason that this hasn't been all fixed up nice and painted is we're gonna do that same dimple dye process to all these holes. And so we'll, we'll get some, some rigidity back and hopefully turn that into something that's, that's not a uh, detriment to the car. But, um, you know, ground off the uh, factory spare tire reinforcement here. Uh, there's like a little like steel hoop that that supports the uh the frunk spare tire well thing um so that's that's deleted and we'll tidy this stuff all up and then we'll we'll go crazy and paint it up all nice and and uh it'll be fun but we've just been picking away i did some new headlights from toyota just because the old ones were yellow and crack you know all these little micro fractures in them um but I can't wait to just go around here and like grab all these little like nuts, nuts and bolts and rusty looking garbage, make it all shine, make it all nice and light. Oh, one other thing cool, the, that's cool that ProBolt makes is they make they make these little brackets here in aluminum, and uh, they get the same like rubberized kind of plastic dip coating on them, and uh, so they make those in aluminum. So, I mean, is this stuff meaningful weight savings? Um, probably not anywhere near what anyone would deem worth the money that it costs. Um, but I'm having fun and kind of, I don't know, it's, it's something that kind of is, is just an art project and it's just a project to make me, me smile and it's making me smile. We're replacing all these bolts at the moment. So, um, so we'll go through and do as many of them as I can. And, you know, this, this I got to do another order. I probably did 50, um, bolts already and I've got a, a long ways to go you know everywhere I look there's one that I 
You know, I ran out of M6 by ones pretty early. But they are everywhere. So you can see there was like some rusty residue from my TRD brace. It's gonna clean that up a little bit. Gotta do a little bit of work here. Paint up this area where the windshield was was uh, glued onto the to the body. I'm gonna paint that just like a matte black or like a semi gloss black to match this stuff. And then uh, we'll do like a uh, I'm gonna fabricate up a little like cover plate for e either of these that may or may not. I kind of think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do it as do like a little like um, polycarbonate windshield, like a little mini mini windshield, like Barchetta style around here. I just love when I when I go to the racetrack and I see all these like. Uh, you know, go to the vintage races and see these old Ferraris that have these little plexiglass windows that wrap around and old Lotuses and stuff. It just always turned me on. So, <clears throat> so anyway, I might try and fabricate one of those up. And, and I'll, what I'll do is I'll have it be something that just sets down into this roll cage tube or this uh, windshield rollover protection tube and just pins in there. Um, people who are asking about Barchetta um, conversion to their own car, this... Um, this part where we cut it off, I'll weld in a little bit of reinforcement here just to kind of get some, some chassis rigidity back. Um, but this this tube here passes down into the chassis. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill and tap a hole into that. And um, that way I'll be able to have like a set screw that holds this, the tube as it slides down in from the, from the old windshield. And I'll, I'll uh, be able to pin it back in place. Um, and that'll be good for, you know, going to get state inspection don't go in and, uh, you know, if I want to drive it on the street and not get harassed, um, you know, we'll see. But man, it's everywhere, everywhere you look, there's more, there's more fasteners, more fasteners, more fasteners. There's so many little opportunities to, uh, to do it. So picking away and, uh, I think it's going to be cool. I'm pretty excited about it. Oh, one other thing I want to show you guys, my, my, uh, obsessed mission to, uh, reduce weight. So I wanted a cup holder. Uh, one of the things I found is, the wiring harness, this dash has come out to flock it. Is uh, this awesome bicycle uh, cup holder, a bottle holder, and I just mounted it to the uh, to the front of the the uh, transmission tunnel cover thing here with the uh, the shifter deal. Um, that was really articulate and uh, eloquent. So you're welcome for that. But anyway, mounted it to that with a couple of uh, a couple of screws, uh, bolts, and nuts, and. Uh, it served pretty well. I've got that in my silver car too. And it's just a trick little piece. I think it was 20 bucks or something. Like, that's such an awesome little little piece and it holds it holds the cup pretty well. You could put whatever you want. You could put Starbucks in there or whatever. Um, here's another look at that wing um, for, the, for the guys that were asking about the uh, construction of the Inks Plus One. It's pretty nicely crafted. Um, so it's even like down in here. And so it's all adjustable for for rake and all that stuff so and so oh yeah i'll be doing these in titanium i know so it never never ends but pretty snazzy anyway hope you guys are enjoying the videos and uh we'll try to do some more i can't wait to be doing some track impressions with this and multitude of other stuff but here's another look at that terrible roll cage look at that crap my god someone's gonna die just kidding See you guys.